Hi, I'm going to be talking about videos today. Videos, e-commerce, what to do, where to do it, and how to do it. So let me, without ado, get to my little script here um, <clears throat> and tell you a quick few facts about videos. There are 232 million people in the U.S. watching videos online every day every single day and if you've watched people um, <clears throat> look at their phones all the time they're watching videos okay if you mention a video in your subject line in your email it increases your open rate 13 percent can you imagine having an extra 13 percent open rate on your emails engagement is 33 percent this is like 2018 um, um, stats as well by the way 50% on on um, videos are watched on mobile. And I bet it's more than that because, you know, everybody is on mobile all the time. Internet traffic will account for 95% of all consumer internet traffic. Now, I'm going to say this again. Internet video traffic will account for 95% of all consumer internet traffic. Videos up to two minutes long get the most engagement. So, why? Because people's attention span is as as is less than a goldfish, and it's getting worse, right? Because we are just boom, boom, boom. You know, our fingers are moving, and we're out of the we are out of the out of whatever we're looking at because it's not interesting. Boom, we're gone, we're gone. Go, go, go. And it's the same thing with our websites. If our websites aren't interesting, and we're selling stuff to people, right? If it's not interesting, if they're not interested, they're boom, they're out. They bounce in and they bounce out. <clears throat> you can immediately get a visual personal connection with your audience when posting a video. Because if they love it, they will like it, they will share it. So I've got, um, I think I've got six tips for you guys today that I'm going to be talking about. Yep, six tips. And and I have an equipment list, right, to give away. So <clears throat> we will talk about tip number one. What type of video is best? And um, I do lives all the time. And by the way, I haven't done lives for six months, but I'm back to doing lives again because it's so important um, to do lives to attract people, to have them to get to know you, right? That's why you got to do lives, but not everybody can do lives. I have clients that hate to be in front of the camera. So what do you do? You have an e-commerce store, you have a retail store. It's like it's you're not comfortable in front of the camera because it is practice, right? So what do you do? You do you have five types of product videos that you can do. Um, the how to video. So all you have to do is explain how a product works, right? Um, a product in use video, a close up video of your product, installation video, amazing, right? We're always looking for the ins installation um, um, on, on, on YouTube. I mean, I bet you guys have looked on YouTube about, wow, what do they say about this product? You know, how do you do the installation? Unboxing. People love unboxing videos. Um, a story video. Obviously, this is a must, must, must. You must have your story in a video on your e-commerce store on your website and a thank you video and let me tell you something there are not many people that have a thank you video on the e-commerce store because they don't think about it and and here's a cool thing with Shopify you can actually put a video on your thank you page as they paying for the product and boom they push the button and there are there you are thanking them for this little um, um, <clears throat> you know, a purchase that they've done for you. And please come back because we have got amazing things for you. That's all you have to say. And it doesn't have to be professional. We'll talk about that later. So tip two, camera or phone. So, you know, we all have very, very good phones these days. If you have a six, upgrade, right? Upgrade, please. Um, this, is, this is one of your um, business tools that you can use if you have products you can take photos you can take videos it's amazing what you can do with just your phone so sometimes you need more than your phone like if you have <clears throat> especially if you have um fashion or if you have um 
food. Food is important to take professional photos. I have seen people take photos of food. It is not appetizing. Please get a professional photographer. It is worth the weight in gold. I know it costs like 75 bucks or more per hour. If you have everything ready, make sure they have everything ready for them to take every single dish while they're there. It'll, it'll reduce the cost, that, but you've got to get a professional. And it makes so much worth it. So, <clears throat> but as I said, upgrade, invest in quality equipment, right? Don't just buy something cheap because you don't have the money. This is a tool for your business. So um, make sure, also here's a small tip, make sure that your setting on your camera setting is, is on original. Otherwise your camera will change the size of the photo and it will be pixelated when you put it on the website. And especially if you're putting putting um, photos of products on your website, original, okay? <clears throat> if you have cash, as I said, get a professional, get a decent phone, phone or camera, get a tripod. Do not try and take photos with your phone just holding it because you are going to move. Okay, I don't care how steady you are, you're going to move because you'll have to, you'll have to, you'll have to move your product and then you're not in the same position right so get a tripod to take photos of your products get a good microphone and lights okay so focus on audio and light because again you know with the computer and and the phone the audio is not that wonderful so I would get um, um, a really good microphone because you know if you're talking into the phone and some good lights so here is is what i did I've, i'll show you some stuff that i bought okay so here is a lavalier and uh, i rig lav <clears throat> and it's great it's absolutely wonderful so what it does is it actually goes into your phone and then you can let me show you here you can clip it onto onto wherever and you can also actually hide it if you're doing a live you can hide it but you just clip it on and you uh, pop it onto your phone so this is the connection right if i show you the connection here so i bought one of these little connections and i need to put that on the equipment list so that i can put it into my iphone that i have right now it works great um and it's very clear and if you're using it outside it's wonderful it is noise cancelling as well so here's what i started okay so i bought the lavalier then when i started I had I had some some stands to take photos with for my camera, right? This is the light I had. Okay, this is a pot light. It costs seven dollars, people. So you can have good light for your products. You have to have two of them so that they come from the side or from the side and from the top. So maybe three, right? So that and you have to do um, daylight bulbs. But these are cheap. It's cheap. That's what I started out when I start taking photographs for my customers who didn't know how to take photographs, right? And um, so that is if you don't have direct light. So if you have di if you have a beautiful sunshine day, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, take um, be in front of the window, have the light behind you while you're taking photos of your products and do not put your products in the sunshine. Put it just out of the sunshine takes amazing photos then you go on your computer or on your phone and you can fix the photos right you can put filters on them and make them look absolutely awesome and so now what I do have is <clears throat> I changed everything so what I have now is a newer light and these things are amazing because I actually travel with one of them I traveled all the way to Africa with one of these so this is a newer light okay and this is a recommendation from my camera guy and it looks like this so you'll see it's nice and it's it's bigger than <clears throat> I tried these little things right and these are with batteries and everything but they've run especially if you're doing a live they run out so fast but you can buy these as well I have this on my list anyway I use this and it actually uses it you can put battery on it as well and it's electricity and then what I did is <clears throat> I bought these little clips extra it's because I'm on a boat and I clip my lights to 
things so because I don't have a lot of space but what I found the other day when I was with my daughter-in-law and I did a live I actually clipped it to the the um, uh, uh, bookcase so I had it on the bookcase and I could put the lights on so I love these new lights they're not very expensive I think they are like $80 or something again you know I've invested in them I use them all the time because today is an overcast day and so if I have a workshop or I have a live or whatever I can put the lights on and it helps as well with normal lights um, and then what I have with my camera is a Logitech 1080 is a computer camera and I have it on a stand and I can't show it to you right now um, it's on a on a normal um, normal tripod stand for for cell phones um, I bought two of them because they are really really handy to have and when you are when you have on your desk and you just want to put your camera and I don't like putting my camera on my computer because um, then it's at a certain height right so I can put that camera as high or as low as possible so I can adjust it whereas with, which is on the on the computer is just a little bit more awkward so anyway so let me show you <clears throat> um, my mic so we've talked about um, let me show you several several stands as well so I've got this one as well which is fabulous this is a iographer flexible mini tripod it is amazing and I, it's very cheap I think it's like $23 or something I think um, that's what I bought it for but your phone clicks in here and you can buy a different one for an iPad as well this top part and it, it just bends right but it's so strong that it actually can stand uh, by itself and I love I love using this <clears throat> especially when I'm cooking I'm taking videos of all the cooking I'm doing and so you know I just clamp it to a to the to the door and so it's the cooking the video is right over my cooking and so I have anyway so I have these little things as well you know just odd little odd little stands that I've bought for you know just to try stuff out but I find they come in so handy and I've got another little bendy one like this which also comes in handy so you can put your phone anywhere if you are doing a live you can put your phone anywhere and just clamp it on and then obviously we've got the selfie stick which I didn't think I'm going to use but you know the cool thing is that is one of those you know those extension things so I have not this bendy one but I have one of these and I put it at the bottom and then I can extend this off the floor and put my camera on it um, my phone on it so it's really 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 handy and as I said the selfie stick I bought by accident I said I'll never in a million years use a selfie stick but I am so anyway those are the tripods and you know I have them all in my equipment list so you can see what I've bought and I use these all the time so that my my um, my <laughs> what is this called this is my microphone and I know Claudia uses um, the um, the blue Yeti the Yeti and she loves the Yeti but I just bought this one what whatever reason why um, I should have bought the Yeti but this one was a little bit cheaper right and it works fine it is absolutely amazing and it also has an extension where you can put a headset in and you can actually hear when somebody is trying to converse with you but I just use this um, when I'm doing these lives and workshops so <clears throat> as I said I actually have a list for you guys that you can click on go and look on on Facebook um, uh, Amazon on how much it is what it costs and, and remember it's a affiliate link so I hope you don't mind um, but I've got the whole list of equipment that you can use everything that I use I've shown you today I think yes I have and obviously these little things as well you know I, I you know I used to use it in the beginning but I don't use them anymore because they they don't last and um, I just use literally use my light for everything my big light for everything um, <clears throat> so tip three is do you need to edit your videos so I don't edit my videos because whatever you know I'm you know when I started out I did like 30 takes before I would do a video I wouldn't do a live I would just do a recording and then post it but now I just do the live and I'm practicing and I'm getting better because I'm practicing so do you need to edit your videos yes if you want to take your video and repurpose and you can take snippets from your video and then um, 
<clears throat> and then post them as snippets, right? Um, I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing that. But also, if you want to cut something out, um, then you can do that. Again, I don't do it. I just smack on a thumbnail and boom, it goes out, right? Um, and so you can actually edit your videos with a couple of things. I use Wave because with Wave, I can use, um, I use it for making the videos different sizes. So I can make a square with it. I can make a vertical. I can make it long, not really, but you know, you can make it long because because every single social media needs your video to be a different size. So um, if you're posting on Instagram, square. Posting on Facebook, why not square, right? But if you're posting on YouTube, you need to be, is that uh, 16 by 9 or something like that size? So you, this, um, so you need to make sure that you, when you're posting it, you know where to post it. You know what size to use. So I use Wave to create all those different sizes and then also to add my, so I do edit sometimes. I add my logo at the back, at the at the end of my videos with the button. And I will, you know, you can also add some um, um, text as well, right? To make it more interesting. But here is what um, um, Wave is great is, and, and Emoto, you can do it as well. Just add, fo add photos and create a video. I've done that for my clients, especially for Christmas or when they have products. You just add, add it to the, to the software, create a video and boom out. And Lumen 5 is free. Obviously, the other one you've got to pay for. Lumen 5 is free and will create a video from a blog with images. Unbelievable. It's really, really cool. And I think probably nowadays you pay for it. I've never paid for it. Um, so I just use the basic stuff. So as I said, it's very, very easy. And you know what? On your phone these days, you have so many apps that you can use to edit your videos and create, you know, put whatever on. I still don't do that. I just believe, you know, boom, send it out. But if it's for your products, it has to be a good quality light and audio, right? So you want to make it as clear as possible. And, and you don't have to make it very professional rather have somebody a client a customer um, show your show your product off instead of having a professional professional do it because people will actually believe that somebody like them has bought the product and actually loves the product so and also you know you don't have to cut out every single thing that's a mistake or something it is nicer to watch a video when it's natural right unless you want something professional sounds too much like TV. Anyway, let's co-continue. Num tip number four, script your videos. I don't care how short it is, script your videos. So think about what you want to do. I'm looking for my little thing here. Uh, think about what you want to do with, with your video, whether you're doing a product video, whether you're doing unboxing, you got to say, you got to talk about your business, who you are, and the unboxing thing right and then have a have a sequence of, of events that happens in the video and then have a closing tell people what you want what what you want them to do with the video use my products hello right so you got to tell people what to do with your video so you need a script because sometimes if you don't have a script which means that you will be blah blahing blah blahing and you know what I did? I was blah blahing today and I didn't do my introduction. I'll do it at the end. But anyway, blah blahing, blah blahing. And then they don't understand what you're saying. So what you need to do is just put bullet points and then speak to those bullet points because you know your product and you know what you want to what you want your customers to do. So but script it, right? And stick it stick it on your on your computer or somewhere so you know okay this is what I need to do and this is next and this is next this is what I do in, in my lives as well I have certain points I have to do but I have a script in front of me right I actually write it out as a blog so what I do is I write out points that I want to discuss then I fill out what I want to talk about and then I turn around and and post the blog but I also, I download the video that I've done so you can actually create the video of your product, pop it, have a script, talk about your product, put in links and everything, make it all cool as a blog, put your product video in a blog and post it, 
why not you know some people like to read some people like to like to see the the video <clears throat> and it just looks a little bit more if you're adding more to the actual video and then what you can do with the video as well is then put it into your product product photos or product pages or something where you need to have this so so whatever you talked about you can put it on the side of the video and have your bullet points on the side right so it makes sense okay do i want to watch this video hmm okay she's got interesting points boom okay they'll watch the video so create a script start with a blog i put, i go straight into into shopify there's a blog portion to shopify i start my script in shopify and i actually i'm posting the blog with the video now okay so number and it's amazing seo people amazing right so people will come onto your website they'll see your video they'll see your video on the product they'll see your video on on the blog you can you know pop it into your email and then bring people back to your back to your website again so it's amazing what you can do with um with once you have a script a blog and a video so tip number five oh i love this right so have you seen people do this okay so i've got to sh I'll, I'll practice yesterday so okay so they have their face here right or a little bit more right so they're sitting down here and they have all this real estate up here okay it's all this real estate so do you want people to actually look at your background or do you want people to actually look at you and the same with products so i've noticed people that have taken videos of their products and the product is right down here so what about this space here you want the product to be close up and nice and center of your video so if you are on the video you want to be nice and center on the video right so remember that don't take odd photos with i mean you know your product has to be center so if you have if you have like a I've got this little thing that I put my ear parts in. If you have something like this, then you want it to be in the middle, right? In the middle there. So whatever you do, you want to be you want to make sure that it's in the middle on all sizes that you're showing in your in your video. Um, <clears throat> so you got to take make sure that you that you are that you got the that you got the real estate that you want people to look at and the, you want people to look at your product or at your face not at the real estate of the background right you do you really do not want them to see the background and so here um yeah so make sure you, you don't cut anything off because I've, I've seen people cut things off and um so and here's a tip right okay look into that camera right don't look down but i've seen people read 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 and then never look up because you want to communicate with your customer right so look up into your camera because you know your product uh, yeah you know your product you know your 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 um whatever it is you know your services or something so look into the camera talk about it you don't have to talk according to the script I and mean, sometimes you forget something you look down oh yeah i need to talk about that as well that's fine right but look up and look at the ca camera again so if you're taking if you're taking a um, photo this is going to be real so if you're taking a long photo this will be cool It'd be really funny to take this because it's a it's a it's a long it's a really product that is really tall so you make sure that the product is in so with this product for instance you would make sure that the background is white because you want this to stand out so if the background is dark like it is behind me now then you make sure that the product is light right so don't disappear into your background so you've got to think about things that you are putting in front of the camera and so what i do is i actually have a secret 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 uh, veronica's video um, testing group and only my sister and i are in it so i actually go in before i go live and i didn't do today i didn't have time so I, pieces of hair is not sticking out but before i do a live i actually go and take a video of myself and see if my sound is working and see if everything else is working right see what the background looks like and here's what happened okay so i had it i'm on a boat okay right now 
So I had a toilet sitting there, right there behind me, and it was a workshop. Thank goodness people knew me. And somebody said to me, uh, what's with the toilet in the background? <laughs> and I never noticed, right? I looked at it, I never noticed the toilet. So the toilet was a side table, but we were moving the toilet into the back of the boat to put it into our bathroom. But you see, that's the thing that you don't notice if you are, if you are not noticing what's in the background. So you've got to check what's in the background, what do other people see by seeing the actual video. And the same thing with your products, you know, test your products out. And here, don't, don't make sure that um, everybody's silent in the background. So if you're taking a, a photo or a video of your product, make sure that there's not people in the background and ba 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 and ba 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 and you know it's like what you, you're taking a photo of the product but you have people in the background talking and and scuffling about and it's distracting right so so what I do I have a really loud um, um, what's it called uh, air conditioner so I put both my air conditioners off because there's I mean there's always something on on the boat my water pump goes off or some other pump goes off because you know we're always pumping the boat out so but I've got to make sure that the the noise level is at its lowest and I really put the mic right in front of me so it's not too far away so again you know so if you're talking on the on the on the um, on the video make sure that the mic is close to your close to your mouth okay again where's your head look up okay so oh yeah another tip right uh, we ladies, we, we don't like to show our little jowls, so look up, you know, make your camera high, look up. And don't, don't, you know, so, oh, I want to show you this as well. I, one, one product I have not got easily because I am using this. So Claudia got me to buy this. She has got one and it's an amazing thing. So it's one of these things. It's a, it's a, it's a computer stand and it actually hooks, your computer hooks in there when it's open so your computer is that little bit higher so what I do is I actually and Claudia does this as well by the way and she's got a she's got a 1080 so I've got my computer on this because I've got my script on my computer okay so it's it's in the blog so I'm reading I'm reading off the blog so um but it just lifts it up so I I'm looking up higher and so when I'm looking, I'm not looking down at my computer and then up, right? And here's what I find as well. So people have the computer flat and then they're looking and then the cameras are like looking up their nostrils, right? Who wants to see your nostrils? So, you know, make sure that the camera is in the right position and lift everything up. And this little stand is like is super, I think it's like 20 bucks or something. And again, you know, I have I have don't have that on my list. I need to add this and this little bendy thing on my list. I love, love, love this little. I have this in my car. So if I do have to have, you know, you're not supposed to do that. But if I want, if I'm listening to something in my car, I can put it on the side. I don't have to look at it. Put it on the side and just listen. Okay. So don't do what I do. So tip number six is location, location, and again, location. So make sure that your surroundings have a lot of light you know make sure there's a lot of light on your product so so it actually jumps out of the out of the um, uh, video at you right make sure that um, um, your lens is focused on the product not on the background right so when you're taking your video so especially with the 10 it actually fades the background out a little bit it's amazing right so make sure that you're focusing on the product and talking about um yeah so i mean you take you take your your product photos like this you can make it square so it can fit so it fits actually fits properly on your product page um when you i mean you know so a lot of times people say you should stand and do the videos i don't because otherwise i'll be on the ceiling so i'm sitting and and so if you presenting if you're doing the thank you video you don't have to stand but just you know sit up look at the camera look at your customer and talk to your customer right remember that you've got to talk to your customer so thank you video thank you for shopping with me thank you thank you thank you i love you guys come back right or when you're doing your story look at the camera make sure you don't have you don't take away you know you have just lots of real estate that you're not taking advantage of 
and then you can put it on your home page and your about page <clears throat> again test the videos and give again particular attention to your surroundings i think i've mixed up my, my points because i'm so excited about the videos don't blend into your background those are the points location 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 so where do you put these videos okay so you put them on your product page you put them story on your about page on your home page you can put your um, story on your product page you can put your products on your product page you know so just in your e-commerce store not even talking about social media i mean you know there's so many places you can pop your video in for social media i'm just talking about literally your um your e-commerce e site and even you know what <clears throat> so i have my website on shopify because you know i have sell shopify so i might as well have my website on shopify so i also know a lot about the admin and uh, the puzzle queen, Miss Donna, has dubbed me the um, e-commerce queen. So, but my point is, is that I just have a normal website on Shopify, and I sell my I sell my services on Shopify. I also sell some of my products. Um, where's my one of my products? My bag. I lost my bag. Lost my bag. Oh, this. I love this bag. I don't sell it yet, but I am going to be selling this type of thing for. Um, equipment I put all my equipment in here I put my light in I put my camera in here I put my um, little mic in here I put all my stands in here and I just schlep it with me <clears throat> so um, you know so I sell I, I sell my stuff on Shopify as well and I'm gonna have you know eventually oh and 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 um, Claudia is going to have a Shopify store as well she's gonna be selling stuff on Shopify so, you know, calendars and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. So we're going to be launching her Shopify so soon, um, as soon as we get some time. But we will be launching it before the Own Up, um, Own Up in July, I think July 18th, Own Up. So, <clears throat> anyway, my point is, is that I am going to put my videos on my website as well, because it is essential right? i tell everybody else what to do and i don't do it myself right I'm, I'm the i'm the cobbler and i haven't got shoes anyway so i have got an equipment list and links to amazon for you to look at and then i also have video creation resources facebook live streaming tools i use ecamm right now i'm going to use b live at one o'clock i'm interviewing somebody um a website guy who is talks about stories and branding and then i have video editing software i have online editing software which is you know i love 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 wave um and mobile and web video editing apps and screen recording oh you've got to talk about loom right you can use loom for anything and and um, that's for chrome and then there's screen screen castify which i've never used but i just use loom for everything for, i use it for quick little videos for my customers i use it quick little videos for um my mom you know but she needs to, i need to show her stuff how to do stuff on 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 a, on um on the on, on her computer so you can use it literally for anything if it's on your computer so anyway i've got this whole long list and thanks to andrew because this is part of andrew's list as well um uh which i hijacked <clears throat> and so you know uh, i'll put a link in on this video after this that you can see that you can actually go and have a look at and if you um you can test stuff out right so any, any questions just let me know i'm veronica jeans and i'm an e-commerce queen and shopify guru and i love getting people getting their products up making sure that uh, shopify works making it profitable and helping to get your customers onto those onto those uh, e-commerce stores because we need our customers to buy stuff otherwise how how are people going to shop from us right so anyway i am again uh, i will be on at 11 o'clock on my page veronica jeans mentor um with somebody talking about stories and branding and um i'm thinking about actually popping it in here as well i'll ask i'll ask claudia and I will be back next week, but and I will show you where to put your videos, how to put your videos, what apps to use. Literally, it'll be a proper workshop 
and it'll, it'll be like the finer points okay so this is i'll be using wave um, i'll creating the videos and then repurposing the videos everywhere and I'll, sh I'll literally show you on the computer what to do so anyway thank you so much for popping in i love the likes and the hearts and i'll be back next week same time same place and we'll be talking about other stuff cool bye see you guys and have an absolutely profitable and successful day today.